Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller. There's Dally looking out the window. That's like he's been doing it almost the entire day because right down the street here there's a cemetery and they were doing um, some you know special event for Veterans Day today and he just loves the action so um, don't mind him in the window I'm, I'm sure you guys don't but anywho this video is going to be kind of like a mixture of a couple different things um, I have a thread up fun box to open and I also would like to offer you guys some items such as clothing and hard goods um, so and some linens it's a mishmash of things so before I list all of this stuff I would like to offer it to you guys first um, mainly because I I don't like listing um, I would much rather sell it to you guys um, than have to go through the whole ordeal of photographing and listing and paying fees and then waiting for them to sell so if you guys um, would like to purchase that would make me very happy um, anyway, so let's start with the items that I have for sale and then we will open the thread up fun box. So I figured since the fun box is kind of like a variety of things, I figured I'd show you guys a variety of items I have for sale as well. So first, let's start with the biggest item. I don't know if there's any birdhouse lovers here, but I have this birdhouse for sale, right? <laughs> It says bed and breakfast. It is hand painted. It has a tin roof. Um, there is a hook on the back. It does have a maker, M&M Designs, made in Fort Smith, Arizona. I think that says. So um, it's really pretty. You don't have to you don't have to use it for a birdhouse, like for outside. You can use it as decor. It is in really excellent condition. It was never outside um, to begin with, so it's not dirty or, you know, whatever. So um, I'm going to ask, you know what, let me just grab my measuring tape. Dallas is the star now. <laughs> um, okay, so it is, oops, it would help if I was on the right end of my measuring. It is 12 inches tall by six and a half inches, including the little, um, you know, I included that sticking out. So I'm going to ask $20 on this. It's really, really pretty. And all these prices are not including shipping. So just keep that in mind. And it's not, it's not, you know, very heavy, but it does have a little bit of weight. Just keep that in mind. Then we have this beautiful crystal bowl. Not that you can really hear that that well. It is not signed or anything, but it is very cute. Um, very excellent condition, no chips or cracks. It is five inches diameter and three, two and a half inches tall. This would be very beautiful on your holiday um, table this Thanksgiving or uh, Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa um, you can put some nuts in it or candies or olives or you know whatever you want in it <laughs> so we're gonna do 10 on this guy oh and I did get my um, nails done look at that so pretty you guys will see them closer in you know my jewelry videos to come so there's that. Then I have, we'll stay on the glass topic. I have this beautiful blue ruffle. Um, you can use it as a vase or you can use it as a glass. I mean, a, like a bowl for M&Ms or something. The, it is hand blown, so there is a pontal mark where they took it off the big stick um, when they put it in the fire. Really pretty, no chips or cracks, very beautiful blue, and we'll do $5 on this little guy. Then I have, 
If you guys like salt and pepper shakers, I have these large salt and pepper shakers. These are Norman Rockwell, um, 1952, new, at, new Avenues by Rockwell's Corner, made in Taiwan, Day in the Life of a Boy. And uh, one is salt, one is pepper. These are in really excellent condition. It, these are really nice for a Norman Rockwell collector. And I'm going to ask 12 on these guys. $12. Okay, then, then I have, um, if you guys have heard of what's called a cat's, a cat's meow or the cat's meow, it's like these little um, wood collectible, um, it's, like a, it's like a town, like you can collect the whole town. Um, so this is what the back looks like, the cat's meow. 1987. I have a bunch of these. Um, they're all in really nice condition. This is the Southport Savings Bank. So all of these are going to be $5. Um, if you haven't heard of these, they're really cute because on every building they have a little cat hidden somewhere, you know, on the building. So I just thought these are cool. These are super collectible. And um, so this one is $5. We have the Royal Langsford Jones Handcrafted Toys, and this one is $5. They're all, like, brand new. On the bottom, it says, I think this is where the person bought them from, Harbor, New York, Southport, Connecticut. And we have the library. See the little cat is right there. This I guess they got it at Frank in Franklin, Pennsylvania. So this is $5 as well. We have the Stiffen Body Funeral Home. Oh god. I, oh god, I just got that. The Stiffen Body Funeral Home. Oh geez. And there's the little kitty there. So $5. Um it doesn't say anything on the bottom. Then we have New Masters Gallery. And this one says Carmel, California on the bottom. I guess, I'm guessing that's where the person bought them. Um, it's really the only thing I could think of. And then we have FG Bonnet Hairdressing Parlor, Marshall, Marcel Waves. And there's the little kitty right there on the front next to the steps. So this is $5 as well. Then we have the Old Franklin Bookshop, the little kitty cat. Okay, um, this one says, New Hope, New Hope, Pennsylvania, maybe? Not sure, but this is $5 also. Then we have, which I thought were cool because I always see the buildings and stuff, but I never see trees. So we have um, two trees. See the little kitty is at the bottom of the tree. So these are gonna be $4 each. Really nice condition, $4 each. And you guys know to PayPal, I accept through money through PayPal. I will send you guys an invoice. Um, you can just, I totally skipped over this because I'm rushing this video, which I shouldn't be doing. Um, so I, you guys can look in the description box for my information, but I do accept PayPal. Um, just give me a timestamp and a description of what you're looking to buy and I will send you an invoice. In, uh, payment is due immediate upon receipt of the invoice. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I can hold your items to the end of the week um, and then either Friday or Saturday, I will bill you for the shipping. You just have to pay for the items, um, you know, the day that you're requesting them minus the shipping and then we'll do all the shipping at once. So anywho, um, this, these are little lamp, lamp posts and it's cute because the backs have bows so it'd be really great for your, um, holiday town or whatever. So these are, and then the cats are on the bottom. These will be $2 each. And then I have a clock and the back has a wreath, which is cute for your holiday, um, you know, town, and this is $2 as well. Okay, so that's the cats and meows. Now I have a few placemats. 
So granted, this print is a little out of season, but I still think they're beautiful. It's like a um, pink and orange paisley print. There are four placemats. They're squares, and they're by Cynthia Rowley. And they are made out of 100% cotton. Now, I did not see any stains on them. Let's, let me just go over them one more time. Okay, this one, this one does. This one does, but you can just turn it over and use the other side, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Right there, and down here. The other one was fine. This one looks fine. And this one looks fine, okay. So four placemats, I'll do $10 on these. Okay, that's the one that had the stain. $10 on those placemats. Then I have this really pretty table runner. Again, I know it's kind of out of season, but the colors are beautiful. Um, it has a little, little tassels on the end and it is reversible. So this one is very holiday-esque. It's red and green. So you can use it for your holiday table and then flip it over and you have your summer table. So let's see who makes this. Oh, it's Food Network. Food Network and it is polyester. Let me uh, measure it so you'll make sure you'll know if it'll fit your table or not. So that was 46 inches. And then we're gonna go 46 inches to the bottom. So that's 50, 60, 60, 71 inches. I said 71 inches, right? So 71 inches by Probably should have did this beforehand, huh? 71 by 14 inches. So this is a nice size table runner. Again, I like the, the back. You can use it for your holiday and then the other side is for summer. Um, I didn't see any stains, but let me, let me look it over one more time. On the holiday side, I see one teensy right there. Um, but that's all that I see. You know, if I miss something, uh, you know, I'm trying my hardest to find everything for you. Don't yell at me. Um, okay, so this one we will do $12 on. And then I have, so we went over that. Okay, so then I have some clothing. So I have a bunch of clothing from J. Jill. Um, I did, you know what happened? I started to list some of this on eBay and Poshmark. And I'm like, why, why aren't I offering this to my subscribers? So I do have two dresses listed on my eBay store. It's a um, long sleeve blue and white striped linen button down dress shirt. That's an extra large tall. And then I have a blue sleeveless V-neck linen dress to the knee, um, flowy, like loose, um, with pockets. And that's a large, I think, and that's listed on my eBay store as well. I'll put the link down in my description if you're interested. If you do like them and you would like to send me a reasonable offer, please do. And in the little message, let me know you're a subscriber. And as long as it's reasonable, I will accept. Okay, so I have the other clothing I decided I'm going to show you instead of list. And the first piece is a J. Jill Easy V-neck tee. It is a size large. It is white. And it has that, like, burnout um, effect to it. I think it's called burnout. Um, I did steam everything. 
so it has a little pocket right there. Of course, it doesn't look like it's steamed because I folded it. Um, it's v-neck, it's a little t-shirt, and it was a size large. And I will do $10 on this shirt. Okay, let's fold that nicely and put it over here. Then I have a pair of shorts. Um, actually, let me read the fabric on this one because I know it's not linen. Cotton, 100% cotton. Okay, then I have these shorts. They are a size extra large. Where's the tag? Here it is. These, I believe, are, okay, these are 55% linen, 45% rayon, size extra large, really cute blue and like an oatmeal color, shorts, and it has the elastic on the back, and it also has a side zipper and pockets. So let me give you across the waist on this one in case you know, you're know you not sure if you're an extra large. Across the waist, it's 20, 20 inches across the waist. And then length, they are 19 inches long. So a really nice pair of shorts. Um, I'll just do 15 on these, 15. Then we have a, these are all J. Jill, by the way. J. Jill, um, size large, stretch. And the material is 95% rayon, 5% spandex. And it's a black sleeveless dress with this really pretty knot and keyhole in the front. And it's just a flowy dress. And on me, it goes a little bit past the knee and I'm 5'4" but really pretty, it's stretchy, and it looks like it's super comfortable. Size large, J. Jill stretch. And I'll do um, 15 on this as well. Actually, let's do 12. We'll do $12 on this. Then I have a J. Jill size large linen white button down. I did check this for stains. All of these clothing, all this clothing is good. Oops. So it's a long sleeve, button down. Really great for layering this winter. Beautiful linen. Okay, and that was a size large. Do I have the buttons buttoned incorrectly? I do. <laughs> Don't mind me. I just buttoned it once just to have it closed. So this one will do 12 on as well. And then we have this really pretty J. Jill size extra large. 100% modal. I have no idea. I've never heard of that. Um, but it's a really pretty like orange sherbet, orange dreamsicle, and white polka dot flowy shirt. It has the seam on the bottom and slits and it's a little bit longer in the back. And it has that like boat neck. You know, I, I steamed all this and then I folded them and now they have fold marks. So I, I do apologize. But this one's really cute. This is not a stain. This is because I, at least I hope it's not a stain because I steamed it and I thought it was just wet still from the steamer. But I still see it. 
Right there, right? You might have to skip on this one. Yeah. All right, well, we'll just do $5 on this one. Um, I don't know what happened. Okay, then we have this J Jill is by Pure Jill. It's a large. It is a dress as well. And it's 70% Pima cotton and 30% Lyocell, which I'm guessing is stretch because it is a little bit stretchy. So it's a size large, it's gray, it's a dress. This looks more like a pajama dress, but you know, you can wear it as whatever you'd like. It's V-neck with that little seam right there. It's short sleeves. There's no slit or anything. The back has just a seam down the back. On me, it goes right to my knee and I'm 5'4 again, like I said. So this one we will do $12 on as well with Dallas's butt in the picture. <laughs> then we have a beautiful black linen dress. It's J. Jill, a size large, and it's sleeveless with the boat neck or scoop neck, I should say. And it has a seam that goes down the front. Did this one have pockets? No pockets and no slit or anything, but it's very, very long. So, like I said, I'm 5'4", and it goes to my ankles, right, right above, you know, right above my foot. So, this is really cute. I like this one a lot. We're going to do 20 on this one. And if you guys need measurements, please feel free to email me. I will measure them for you. This one I can do right now really quick. I'll just do the armpit to armpit. But if you guys have, have any J. Jill, you'll know your size. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is all true to size because here, this is a large and it's coming in at 22 inches armpit to armpit. So that's pretty a pretty normal size large. Okay, 20 bucks on that one. Full length, you know, comes to my ankles. Dress, really nice. Okay, now it's time for the Thread Up Fun Box. Do, 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 where's my box cutter? <sighs> I don't know where it went. That's because it's still on the table. Hold on. <laughs> Dallas, you take over. You take over. You take over, little boy. My little boo-boo head. Okay, do you wanna see, are you tired? <laughs> do you wanna see what Swanee Georgia sent us? So fun box from Swanee Georgia. Well, let's see what we got. I haven't gotten a fun box in a while. Honestly, I really don't wanna list socks and slippers and bras. Um, so, but. I did get one because I like to mix it up every once in a while. So let's see what we got this time. Yeah, fun box, 10 items. They went up in price to $32. Let's see. What do we got, Dallas? Does it look good? What we got <laughs> that face he's like I don't know what is it okay where am I gonna put this stuff I guess I can just leave it on my lap I am such a mess today all right well first out the box what do I what I tell you if it's not socks it's stockings so this is a one pack of lace tights this looks like H&M's tag, but you know, I'm not 100% sure. Um, they're size large, um, $5 for you guys. And I don't know, I can probably listen for 
six bucks. Like to me, that's not even worth listing. Because by the time I pay fees on it, it's like, oh, what do you know, a bra. Bras aren't too bad, especially if they have the, the tag on them. They're pretty good sellers. So this one is black and it does have the tag and it's by Auden. I've never heard of Auden. Apparently it's not that great because it's only a $16.99 retail value. It's a 34 triple D, so 34 DDD. Um, but it's nice, I mean, it's got this nice wide band to keep you in. So, um, I don't know, $10? Oh, and it's a convertible bra, so you can make it, you know, uh, racer back or, or strapless. So, I'll do $10 for you guys, and I can probably only sell it for like 14. So, I mean, whatever. All right, then we have Maiden Form. What is this? Maiden Form Half Waist, High Waist Half Slip. Okay, it does have the tag on it. It is a size medium. This is actually really pretty. So it's tummy control. So this goes right under the bust, right? Yeah, this goes right under your bust and it you know, covers your butt. So it sucks in your midsection and it does have like panties um, like in there. You guys can't see it, but they're there. Um, and it does have straps so you can keep it on. You know, it won't, you know, fall down or anything so this is kind of cool um, it has a $44 retail uh, price so I can probably resell it for about 25 uh, probably 30 probably 30 um, so if you guys are interested I would offer this to you for 20 really nice for your New Year's Eve dress okay here we go with the socks so these are aloe socks they are aloe moisturizing infused with natural aloe vera and vitamin e okay but then how do you wash them machine wash cold in the gentle cycle tumble dry low okay so these are cool these would make a nice stocking stuffer they're by earth therapeutics and they're from kohl's so remember guys new with tag stuff get it listed if you find it out in the thrift stores buy it and get it listed people are looking for new with tag stuff for the holidays for a bargain so so grab them while you can people are looking for new with tag stuff so i can't read what the price on it was but i can sell them to you guys for eight dollars and maybe online for 15. That's him playing with his ball. <laughs> Echo accelerometer, accelerometer. Okay, it's a step counter, easy. It's a step counter, distance counter, calories, exercise, average time, okay. Um, so you kind of just wear this, I guess. It's a little like step counter and it counts your calories as well. Okay, easy. Ugh. All right, hang on guys. Okay. <laughs> So let's let's keep going. Where was I? That accelerator, whatever this is. Um, I don't really know. I'd have to look it up, but it's probably not too expensive. So um, I'll just do five dollars for you guys, and I'll probably list it if I even list it, maybe twelve dollars. Um, but it's brand new in the package. It makes a great stocking stuffer or regular gift. So definitely keep that in mind for the holidays. What is this? This is a little belt bag. So it's like a little fanny pack, but I don't think there's any maker on it. No. So it's just a unbranded, it's faux leather, adjustable belt bag. Um, let me see if I can get you the length on the belt to make sure it'll fit. It 
it is 43 inches and I believe it's brand new it just doesn't have a maker or anything so this is this is cute for just you know on the go shopping throw your wallet in there so let's do um, $12 on that okay this is from Chico's what is it though it's new at 10 from Chico's oh it's a jewelry roll jewelry roll okay so you put your jewelry in it for travel that's cute okay brand new with the tags again this will make a really cute stocking stuffer you guys it has a $50 price tag on it this is going to be so cute for somebody for Christmas or Hanukkah you know don't mind me holiday Chico's brand new so let's do let's do 15 on it because it's new with tag um, and I can probably list it for like 30 bucks. So that's cool. Oh geez, another pair of socks. These look like Halloween socks. Women's thigh high socks. Wowza. Okay, I don't know where they're from. But it, they're thigh high and they're orange and black polka dot with these cute little bows. So five bucks for you guys. Don't know if they'll ever get listed. Then we have, what is this? Women's heels small. So it looks like these are, It looks like these are for shoes. Insert this part as far back into the shoe as possible. So it's like a little sock for inside of your shoe. I don't know. Um, size small, I don't know, just a dollar, a dollar. One dollar takes it. <laughs> okay, this is new with the tag also. This is a unisex headband for the winter okay so this goes around your head and it's got like the ear parts so it goes down a little further to cover your ear not bad not bad okay brand new five dollars again great stocking stuffer um last is this purse it is by Oh, anthropology. Okay. All right. This is this was probably pretty expensive. It's a um, suede metallic tote. Okay. It's pretty big. I mean, it it's in really nice condition. This is in really nice shape. The inside is the raw suede. And there's the anthropology with your pocket. This is really nice, guys. All right, so let's do, let's do 25 on this one. And um, that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I did. It was pretty interesting. A little variety of everything. So email me if you're interested in anything. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next one.